let's let's talk about Brando and Gene Hackman and Terrence Stamp, and then we'll we'll, we'll talk about Christopher Reed next. But I'm curious to at a time at which potentially a project like this might not have been something that Academy, you know, an Academy Award winner would say, I want to be in this. You obviously had to convince them that the project was quite serious. Uh, yes, but that, that, you know, that was the whole uh, saga, which was incredible because first the idea, and, and, and that, that was actually uh, uh, very simple, we first went to William Goldman to write, who had done Bush Cassidy and uh, The Sting, I mean, all that, very good writer. And uh, we had a big meeting and uh, in a very big suite at the Plaza Hotel in New York. And uh, at the end, it was very nice, so it was two, two and a half hours, and at the end I said, no, I, I just, I don't feel it. Okay, so uh, my father was screaming like a maniac at me. Of course, he was spending money all the time, and he wasn't moving, nothing was, you know, his stallmate. And uh, I said, okay, so why don't we try Mario Puzzo? Godfather, he had just done the Godfather, and uh, yeah, Mario Puzzo, Superman, takes it serious. I mean, it's not a comic book. But that was a, the main idea was not to make a comic book movie, was to make a real serious movie where you laugh with them, not at them. And uh, reality is 100% real. Mm -hmm. But you got people flying around and you know all that stuff. But the rest, if you see it, or in this movie, uh, every object is real. 